the Warriors win game five of the NBA Finals at home and now just stand one win away from an NBA championship, beating the Celtics in this game five. Final score 104 to 94, a very close game in certain moments. Other moments, not a very close game, but when it was all said and done, the Warriors clutched up when they needed to and they got off to a good start in this game. I mean, before I get into anything, Andrew Wiggins, man, he was the reason we won this game. Um, and, you know, I think on another level, I think Andrew Wiggins is the reason we're here. Um, I, I don't think he gets enough credit sometimes. I think people tend to look at the Currys and the and the Thompsons and and say, well, you know, you know, Wiggins is a role player. He He does his job. But I'm here to say Wiggins is, you know, the reason we are here right now. He was, you know, all season trying his hardest to win a championship he hasn't won one you know like the other guys on this team and you can tell he puts his heart and soul into this game so man Andrew Wiggins shout out to him he had a double double with 26 points and 13 rebounds in the Warriors you know en route to a 10 point victory now the Warriors in this game came out firing they held Boston to 16 points in the first quarter while they scored 27 and on that note the Warriors defense in this game was pretty darn good um, I, I will say, you know, I think Wiggins and Gary Payton the second, when they're on the floor at the same time, it's a thing of beauty and Looney for that matter, like them three on the, you know, the court at the same time, the defense as well, because Gary Payton can steal the ball. Wiggins can clearly defend Tatum. Uh, Tatum was throwing up air balls and Looney is a great rebounder. So I feel like it's just a good match. You know, I just think it works. So I think, you know, game six, that might be something Steve Kerr rolls with. Um, but on that note, you know, Gary Payton the second, very good game for him. 15 points off the bench, 14 for Poole off the bench. Poole also made a buzzer beater um, half-court shot, very similar to the one he did, you know, not too long ago. And that really rode our momentum. The Warriors had a great fourth quarter, and they had a rare, not super good third quarter. The Warriors are always the dominant team in the third quarter, usually. They didn't do super good in the third quarter, being outscored by 11 points. when they're usually outscoring teams by... 10 plus points so that was kind of weird but you know I, I just think the Warriors in this game if had they had had they not had the great start they had they probably wouldn't have won this game because they did lose some momentum in the third quarter Boston took the lead um, and the Warriors had a little bit of a scoring drought but I think really in this game it relied on Andrew Wiggins now let me talk about Steph Curry because that's sort of the elephant in the room I think Stephen Curry in this game was not good he didn't make a single three-pointer I think he was 0 of 8 or 0 of 9 or something like that he had 16 points despite playing 37 minutes, but I think it's okay. You know, had we lost this game, I would have been concerned, but I think Stephen Curry in game six, he's going to be energized. He's going to be mad. He's going to want vengeance. He wants to win his first finals MVP. It doesn't look good when you have 16 points in a finals game where you're usually averaging like 30 points, right? So he's going to come out firing next game. I can almost guarantee that, right? Now, Curry didn't have a good game. He had an off game for sure. The Warriors three-point shooting in this game was terrible. It was 9 of 40, 22.5%. Boston's wasn't much better. So I'm not mad about, you know, necessarily that because we won and we were smart in the interior, but I think we could have had better shooting. On that note, I think Clay Thompson, he sort of redeemed himself a little bit. He did have some sloppy shots, 21 points. I think the Warriors in game six, they just need to clean up things, right? If they're going to take the series in Boston, win it, on you know in an away game and clinch the series clinch the championship they need to clean up the turnovers the fouling okay the fouling i guess isn't really their fault necessarily the the celtics like to flop the celtics get the calls right so it's you know that's inevitable but i think if the warriors can play clean i mean draymond green fouled out for the third time in this series looney very close to fouling out i think he had five fouls um so you know that was an issue but I do kind of see where they're coming from. The refs in this, you know, in this series have not been good. Now, I think the game just worked with this lineup. You know, the starting lineup was good with Porter. You know, Porter didn't have a great game, but I think his defense is pretty good. So, I, you know, I, I'm not mad at all. For the Celtics, they had a good game from, you know, Jalen Brown. Well, actually, Jalen Brown, he didn't have an amazing game. He had 18 points. Marcus Smart had 20 points, but he did hit back-to-back -back fouls on Jordan Poole in a technical that sort of just gave the Warriors more momentum. Jason Tatum had 27 points and he was pretty good from three. They made eight in a row, um, him and others. And he had 27 points, but he did air ball a couple times. So yeah, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying it, but the Warriors are one game away from winning the finals and it's not over yet, but it's, it's looking good, right? 
The Celtics have not lost back-to-back games since March, and we are, we're in mid-June right now. So just going to leave that there. Anyways, guys, you know, the Warriors create back-to-back losses for the Celtics for the first time in a while, winning 104-94, to taking a 3-2 to series lead in the NBA Finals, and uh, take a 3-2 series lead that will hopefully stay, you know, on our side. We need to win this Finals, and I think winning in a Game 7 will be a lot more stressful and a lot more difficult, so we're going to try to get it done in Boston. So let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later, and yeah, go Warriors.